to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious breakfast burrito and I'm going to use some Beyond Meat. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it is a plant-based meat substitution and in fact, a couple of years ago I did a video on it when I tried it for the first time and I've been loving it ever since and actually a couple of years ago it wasn't as readily available at grocery stores but I'm starting to see it in a lot more grocery stores so if you see it definitely pick it up give it a try I really really love it but if you want to see how everything turned out then keep watching but before we get started please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and don't forget to turn on those notifications just in case when I do put up a video you'll be the first to know okay so enough talking let's go ahead and get cooking so for today's recipe I'm going to use some Beyond Beef for my breakfast enchiladas and if you're not familiar with it Beyond Beef is a plant-based ground beef alternative and I really like it and it's just a great alternative and it's really really good now in a skillet over medium heat, I'm going to go ahead and cook up the Beyond Meat. Now you can use whatever meat you like. You can use ground beef or ground pork, whatever you like. Now while that's cooking, I'm going to add a lot more ingredients and a lot more flavors. So I chopped up one medium sized red bell pepper. Now to get that onion flavor that I love, I went ahead and I chopped three green onions. And I'm just going to grab a spoon and continue to stir and saute everything until it's fully cooked. I'm ready to add my seasonings and I'm going to start off with a half a teaspoon of sea salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and for a little kick, I'm going to add one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Off camera, I made some bacon bits with four strips of bacon and I'm just going to add half of that to the mixture. Now for the enchiladas, I'm going to need an egg mixture. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to go ahead and crack eight eggs. I'm going to pour in whiskey and a half a cup of whole milk. You can also use half and half. And I'm also going to mix together one tablespoon of flour. Now the two cheeses I'm going to use is two cups of sharp cheddar cheese and two cups of mozzarella cheese. So let's start making some enchiladas and I'm going to start off with between 8 and 10 flour tortillas. And as you can see I'm just going to grab a couple of tablespoons of the Beyond Beef and the sauteed vegetables and I'm just going to pile it on and I'm going to sprinkle in some cheddar cheese and some mozzarella cheese and you're just going to roll it up until you finish making all of your enchiladas. So I'm done rolling up all of my enchiladas and I was able to make eight of them. They fit perfectly into my casserole baking dish. And now I'm just going to pour on top all of the egg mixture. And at the very end I'm just going to sprinkle the rest of the shredded cheddar cheese and the mozzarella cheese. And I know I said two cups of each but at this point you can put as much cheese as you want. So this is what it looks like and I've already preheated the oven at 350 degrees and I'm going to let it bake off for 30 minutes. So 
So after 30 minutes, this is what the breakfast enchiladas look like. The cheese is completely melted and it is perfect for your next breakfast. So at the very end, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of bacon bits and some green onions. And you guys make sure to eat it while it's nice and hot. So that was really, really easy. And we are done, you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with everybody you know. Follow me, tag me, take a picture on Instagram. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you made it this far you might as well go ahead and click that subscriber button down there and if you want to see another video go ahead and click that box you see right over there until then thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate you all and i will see you very soon in my next video Bye bye